Hi, this is Matt Roscoe at the University of Montana. I'm going to give you a quick video today on how to get up and running using GeoGebra to explore bivariate data. So let's get after it. So the first thing you're going to need is a copy of GeoGebra to be able to um, use it. GeoGebra turns out uh, is a freeware uh, program. And so I'll just type in uh, GeoGebra. Uh, into uh, GeoGebra.org actually would be a nice way to get to it into a generic search engine like Google and here I see the www.geogebra.org is the top uh, response so I'll go ahead and go to the GeoGebra page and this is what you should um, should get it's a dynamic mathematics software that was originally um, devised as um, a tool for exploring both geometry and algebra but new uh, in the last few years is, is its ability to do spreadsheets and statistical exploration, which is what we'll use it for in our uh, module this week. So uh, to get a copy of GeoGebra, where you need to go is to the Downloads page. So I'll go to the Downloads page. And there is a tablet version if you're interested in that. Uh, it's difficult, though, to save on that. Um, so um, uh, I usually use the desktop version you can assume there'll be one for phones coming too. So choose your platform, whether you're Windows, Mac, or Linux. There are actually more versions as well here. Um, but I am a Windows user, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the Windows. And uh, right away it attempts to install. I'll go ahead and save the file. And it'll take some time. To, um, you can see up here in, that I have um, a download. <coughs> In, uh, I'm using uh, Foxfire and it's about 55 megs uh, I can see so it takes a little bit of time depending on your bandwidth but then once it's uh, been installed I guess it's been saved then you just have to double click on it to install it you'll be asked whether or not you uh, want to let GeoGebra make changes to the computer that's a yes if you want the and then the setup wizard I just usually do the standard setup so I use English, I accept the terms of the agreement, and I take the standard setup type and install. And uh, right now I'm actually updating. I have a version 4 that's now um, installing. I see version 5. Um, you will get uh, notification fairly regularly when you use GeoGebra about the availability of upgrades. Uh, it seems to be a very active um, piece of software in terms of self-improvement and so you often will get prompts that a new version is available so right now I've got it to install just standard it says do you want to go ahead and run GeoGebra so I'll finish it and it'll run GeoGebra and um, what should happen is is um, you should get a you can set up a GeoGebra tube account this is a, a, a I guess a social sharing network of GeoGebra files. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that at this point. But what you should see is something like this, which is literally a pane split into an algebra view and a graphics view that, for instance, when I click on the line tool, I should be able to put a line in that view. And over here in the algebra view, we can see it's put two points as well as the equation of that line. I'm going to right click it see that indeed yeah that seems to make sense as y equals mx plus b the slope here is about 0.8 and y intercept of negative 3.54 so seems like GeoGebra is up and running just fine and that's uh that's the install procedure to get a copy of GeoGebra running